Here is how to fix issues with the Tickfinity Minecraft plugin. We'll start with the most common issue, which is fail to verify username. And that is because you're using the wrong version of Minecraft. This plugin only works with the Minecraft Java version that you purchase from the Minecraft website or from the Microsoft Store. So if you've obtained Minecraft Java anywhere else, it's not going to work. If you do want some more info about fail to verify username, then go into the Tickfinity Discord and check the FAQ and I've linked the Tickfinity Discord in the description. If you've been struggling to set up the Minecraft server for the plugin, then let's set it up again. Except this time we're going to follow this guide from PaperChan, which is linked in the description. So we'll start by clicking this link to download Amazon Coretto and put it in your downloads folder or wherever you want. And once it's downloaded, just click on it to run the installer. I'll just press next. I'll press next again and I'll press install. And a few seconds later, the installation is complete and I'll just press finish. Next up, we need a new folder. So I'm going to right click on my desktop new folder. You could save this somewhere else if you want. I'll just name this Minecraft server or anything like that. Now I'm going to double click into my folder and here it is. It should be blank. I'm going to right click, click on new and click on text document. I'm going to name my document EULA.txt. That's EULA.txt. And now I'm going to right click and edit it. Into Notepad, I'm going to type EULA equals true. And if you want to make sure you're typing the correct thing, again, head back to the guide that I've linked in the description and just copy and paste the text. Anyway, I'm going to press Control S to save it and then close out of it. And now you can see we've got it saved in our folder here. Next up, we need a run.bat file. They are calling it a start.bat file. This is going to run our server. So it's suggesting we click on flag.sh. So let's load up that. And it's saying make sure iCars flags is selected here and make sure we've clicked on Windows at the bottom here and a minimum of 4 gig of RAM. This looks good to me. So I'm going to click on download in the bottom left and we're going to go into my desktop and into my Minecraft server. And I am going to actually rename it to run.bat instead. But you can leave it on start.bat if you want and I'll hit save. Next up, we just download paper from the paper website. So make sure your Minecraft is on 1.2 or whatever the latest version of Minecraft is. And I'm going to download build 43 here. And super importantly, it wants us to change the name of this file to server, S-E-R-V-E-R. -E the program will not run if we don't rename it. So it's renamed to server and I'll just hit save now. So if I look in my Minecraft server folder, I've now got eula.txt run.bat, which you might be calling start.bat and server.jar. So now we're ready to launch the server to get it all set up. So let's double click on run.bat. If you get a warning like this, click on more info and click run anyway. And you'll get this big black box. You just have to let this run through the installation process. It will take a few seconds. But once it's done, it will say timings reset. Now let's check that it's working by launching the normal version of Minecraft Java. You can't use any other version for this. So make sure you're using regular Minecraft Java, which I'm launching from the Minecraft launcher. Once you're into Minecraft, hit multiplayer, hit direct connection, type in 127.0.0.1, click on join server. And hopefully within a few seconds, you should be connected to your new Minecraft world. Now, Tickfinity will still not work because we're missing a key step. Let's fix that by downloading ServerTap, which is going to let our server talk to Tickfinity. So on this page, which is linked in the description, we scroll down to here where you download the servertap.jar file. We need to place this in a specific position. So inside your Minecraft server, click on plugins. And then once you're in this plugins folder, here is where you have to save it. Now let's head back to our black console and we're going to type stop to properly stop the console and it should just disappear in a few seconds. Then I'm going to head back into my server folder and double click run.bat and after a few seconds it's going to install the server tap plugin again which is going to let our server talk to Tickfinity. So now we can test this by heading to Tickfinity, clicking onto the setup page, scrolling down to Minecraft connection. Leave these all as the defaults. If you've accidentally changed the password, the password is indicated here. It's just change underscore me. And then let's just hit test connection. And as you can see, we have successfully established the connection to the server. Now, here is how to find the default password. If you wanted to change it from change me to something else, again, I'm just going to type stop into my console to stop the server. And then we're going to head back into our server folder. 
Then I'm going to click into plugins and into server tab. And I'm going to right click config.yml, open with notepad. If you can't see notepad, click choose another app and then use notepad. And if you want to change the password to something else, here it is. Just type in whatever else you want. For example, password, don't change it to password and press control S to save it. That said, your server is pretty secure unless you are actually inviting friends onto your server. Somebody would need your computer IP address to actually access your server. So don't worry too much about the password unless you're handing out your IP address to other people. Now, for some reason, people sometimes don't know their username. So if I join my server once again, once we're in, you can see it says a username on screen. But it also, if you can't see username, it will say that your username has joined the game in the console here. So if you've forgotten your username, just check inside the console. And once you have a username, some people want to type commands into the Minecraft console. So make sure you give yourself the operator role. And to do that, we simply type op and then your username. So mine's double zero underscore mojo. So now I'm a server operator and inside Minecraft, I can now type any command, for example, the give command. Now, if your console is not opening at all, here's what you need to do. And we got this from the FAQ channel of the Tickfinity Discord. So I've linked the Tickfinity Discord in the description. And if you're still struggling, have a read through the FAQ channel. So I'm looking at this one here, which says the console of my server closes again directly when you want to open it. And it's basically suggesting you follow this YouTube video, which will guide you to make some changes to your computer or server. It will tell you to look for a Java folder in program files or in program files x86. As you can see, I don't have a Java folder in either of them. What I actually have is Amazon Coretto. So when you're following that YouTube video, just look for Amazon Coretto instead, because this is the file you'll need to be changing. Also worth saying that the FAQ channel on Tickfinity's Discord is frequently updated. So if I haven't covered something in this video, check it out. Once again, it's linked in the description. If you're looking for a lot more Minecraft commands to add to your Tickfinity plugin, then check out this video here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to the channel members and thanks for watching.